I just did a wine challenge at Burgundy, etc. White Burgundies. 600 Hong Kong or less, 90 points or more. This time it's red. Do you think I can find good value red? You just saw Romani Conti. Not so sure that's gonna meet the criteria, but let's see if Paolo Pong can pull it off this time. Let's start with the first one. Well, right away I like the nose, that sort of brambleberry, earth, some herbs. Very complex. Mm -hmm. People sometimes forget about Burgundy when they, they just think Burgundy, you know, they think of big names, but they forget there's so many great wines, village level, lesser known appellations. What Absolutely. do you think? And when it comes to a great vintage, the, the, the lower classification, they really show well. This is super drinkable already, but some nice tannins too. And the, there's sweetness, but then there's tension to the wine because those tannins keep it together. I feel like it's still a bit closed in the back, mm -hmm. but yeah, on the attack is, is quite approachable. Probably another three to four, three to four years. Well, I'm 92 on this. This is a beautiful wine. Good. Are you sure it's under 600? It is because it's on promotion. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Jean-Jacques Confirant, Chambon Musini. Wow. 2009, so it's a village wine. The price is $565. And it's on promotion, what's the normal price? The normal price is 665. Let's try the second then. Oh, this is a very different, much more floral, strawberries, very sort of more delicate. The color seems to be a bit lighter, so the extraction and, and, and is, is less. And also there's almost a citrus character on the nose, almost like oranges or... But again, burgundy is not about color, is it? Mm. Some people forget, they think, oh, it has to be dark, but burgundy is about beautiful colors like this, delicacy and complexity, yeah. like this wine. This has more structure than the first one, I feel like. Well, certainly the acidity is more prevalent. Mm. This domain has really improve on its uh, quality and, and also the winemaking skills. And the wines nowadays are much more approachable. In the old days, um, they tend to be very closed and, and, and requires a, a, a full decade for anything to come around. But now it's, it's, it's doing a great job. It almost has watermelon. It's, just, it's really a fascinating wine and so different than the first one. That's the thing about Burgundy too, are these, these differences in, in, in terroirs and soils and climates, yeah. they really come through yeah. in the wines. On this wine, I know you like it better. I actually like the Chambol slightly more, but this is clearly 90 plus, I'm 91 on that. Okay. Beautiful wine. This is from Fedley. Oh, great. Uh, as you know, it's, it's, it's a negociant. It's well known for being a, a negociant, but they actually have over 100 hectares even over 125 hectares of land. And this is the piece from um, Chevrolet Champetain. And that's the, is that, is it? Com au Moins. Okay. 2010. Wow. And this bottle is only $555. So for a premier crew, it's a really good deal. Well, let's give this one a try. This has almost a dried fruit character, mm. verging on prune or raisins, but not really. It's just, it's ripe, but not overly ripe. I think this has to do with the vintage. And now it's changing to sort of mineral stones, mm. dried flowers, wow. Lovely sweet fruit. It's Brown actually a tannins. bit more complex. Yeah and quite dense. Mm. And then there's a chocolatey care. It's so delicious. Mm. You almost just want to drink that on its own. Mm. It's so good. It's just yummy. What do you like about this when you're tasting it? I find it to be very expressive and, and easy to understand. And I think this producer uh, really excels in this style. Um, you know, whereas a lot of the producers uh, uh, 
can make very complex wines and, and sophisticated wines. Uh, this producer especially make wines that are easy to understand and, and early approachable. So, and, and reflecting the terroir very well. Well, for me, of all the wines, this is, is the most complex and most complete and delicious. So maybe I'm just going more for immediate pleasure, but that's how I'm feeling. I'm 93 on that. Good. Well, we're actually moving a step up. This is a Grand Cru. For under 600? Yeah. This is from Corton. Whoa. One of the great vineyards. Yeah. The Le Renard Vineyard. Yeah, I mean, some people complain about 2009 not being so Burgundian, but uh, honestly speaking, I'm not going to complain because they're giving such great pleasures already. And I'm sure they'll continue to de develop and, and, and gain more complexity. But, you know, for $589, I think that's a very sweet deal. Beautiful. Cheers to that. Cheers. Well done. Great tasting. Thank you.